Hello friends, it's Annette with another moment for chronic wellness. Thanks for joining me. I am talking about chronic pain and a formula that I have for managing it. Uh, so the third time that I got meningitis, that's right, the third time, because I've had it five times, I woke up vomiting on myself. I was in shock. And um, I was wearing oxygen full time at that point. So um, I had a cannula in, um, vomit was coming out my nose and the headaches with meningitis feel like someone is inflating a beach ball inside of your head. And there are eruptions of pain to a magnitude that you know is on the Richter scale, not something that is on the pain scale. And every nerve ending in your body is on fire. It, it's um, a disease that they measure by uh, doing a spinal tap. So your cerebral spinal fluid is involved. So every nerve ending in your body is aggravated. And um, I wanted to run, I wanted to rock, I wanted to scream, um, and yet here I was vomiting and um, then, you know, wearing the cannula and it's coming out my neck. And the only cure for meningitis, and there's not a cure, the only um, way to recover from meningitis is to be silent and still in a dark room uh, and everything in me said, escape this pain, leave, get out of your body. And, um, and I knew, actually I didn't, my wife knew that this was meningitis and that when we go to the hospital for meningitis, um, I am first of all thought to be drug seeking. I'm exposed to other germs and put in bright hallways where the, the headache is made worse from the lights and the sound and spinal tap and all the things that go on with that. And if I could just hold on to make it to my doctor's office the next morning, I could get a shot that could at least give me some pain relief and the opportunity to sleep. But that meant holding on for six hours. And I was visited by what felt to me like angels. Don't know where anybody else stands on that, but that's what happened. And one of them said to me, take a breath. And the other said, ask a question. And folks, it didn't matter what question, it doesn't matter what question. But if you are able to travel to the heart of what pain you're in and take a breath and ask a question, what's the center of this pain? And take another breath and ask another question, what color is this pain? <laughs> take another breath and ask another question, how big is this pain? and take another breath and ask another question. How will I survive the night? And take another breath and ask another question. I made it through eight hours of the worst pain that I have ever survived. And in the time since then, I have survived more things and um, this formula, this method, has not let me down. Um, it's hard to remember to engage it when I am filled with fear and anxiety and am wanting to escape my body that's feeling like a prison. But when I remember to stop, take a breath, and ask a question, I'm able to get through. Give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. How do you get through the unbearable? 
keep me posted. And thanks for being here. Be well.